Hey guys, so we're moving on with our uh, Swiss style designs and we're going to create a little poster for a, an event. Now, recall this theme of this week is just to create a single kind of dominating graphic element and we're going to be using Photoshop and Photopea this time. So I've got two windows open here. I'll come to the Photopea as soon as we get done with this. Those of us who are, who are at, at home, um, the basic kind of um, uh, controls are almost the same here. Just remember when you, when you make a new project, um, you know, it'll, it'll ask you to do the same kind of things. You'll have a print option and let's just go with uh, A4 again, right? A4 is a little more narrow than your eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. I like that look, look a little bit better, but uh, obviously, you know, make it longer than it is tall or taller than it is wide. Um, so we're going to start off uh, by creating some shapes here. Now I'm going to do two versions of this um, and uh, you can choose whichever you'd like if you wanted to choose a different kind of color scheme or a different kind of shape that you uh, kind of come up with. Uh, that's fine here. Um, the first thing I'll do is I'll go down to my shape layer here. I'm going to take the fill off. I'll make the stroke Say for instance, I don't know, orange. Uh, you can make it any any two contrasting colors here. And I'll just draw this shape out like this. Hold down Shift while you do it, and it'll have that stroke there. Let's see if we can't pull that stroke up a good deal. Let's uh, make that stroke quite wide. We'll, we'll put it on the um, sink here. Can we put it on the outside here? Line. Uh, there we go. Cool. Up the center. Just because it's that big. So once again, I'll just make this a good deal bigger. There we go. That's good. Cool. Um, I might just shrink this down slightly. Hold on, shift. I'll do it. Pull the trick down. This, you know, this uh, right here is kind of up to you. What, what you do here. So with it, uh, with this orange uh, being set, I'll apply these changes here, and I'll just kind of move this down here to the center. And I'll just go here, right click on this, go to blending options, and under the main option of blending options, this is the same thing in both uh, both Photopea and Photoshop, you have these little channels RGB, I'm just going to click off G for now, well, click off R for now, right click off R, and uh, I'll just leave that there, I'm going to duplicate this, right click on it, duplicate layer, again this is the same control in, Photo in Photopea, um, I'll just uh, right click on this and just go to duplicate layer at any point, let me start all, duplicate layer, here we go. And uh, with this, uh, if you go to the properties, and again, it's the same kind of control here. If you go to properties, uh, you can click on the stroke and you can change the color. I might change this to say something like, I don't know, teal. And uh, I'll go over here to blending options. I'll turn R back on. I'll turn off G. And that'll give us this um, kind of shape here. What did I turn off B? That's kind of neat looking. I like that. That's kind of interesting. Let's turn off G for now. And maybe adjust the adjust the color just a little bit so I can get closer to that color I'm looking for here. What if I just choose a different kind of green? How about blue? There we go. Blue. Right. So if you choose blue, it'll turn teal, and it'll give you this sort of bluish shape here. I'm gonna position this in such a way that it's sort of like overlaying this, maybe like a little bit down, like so. Uh, and then what we'll do is we'll just grab both of these. We can even just like right click on these and we can group these together. And uh, I'm just going to hold down shift while I rotate this and rotate this 45 degrees. Okay, I'll just drag this down slightly. And uh, cool. All right, so from here, right, what we can do is we can grab our text and we can start putting in our text. Again, like I said before, this uh, this, this sort of text here, uh, this, this sort of um, uh, 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 sort of technique in, in terms of your in terms of your uh, 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 poster, you know, um, th this is a, this is a tried and true thing. Just turning everything in a forty-five degree angle, just making sure everything's sort of set to a grid. So, um, what we're doing today is we're going to be doing a um, shall we say. Um, uh, an event poster. Uh, so think of a, an event that you liked, uh, Super Bowl, March Madness, a concert. I'm going to do a concert. You could do like a, you know, some sort of like, I don't know, like eSports thing, whatever, like that. whatever you want to do, some sort of event. And let's uh, let's write down who, who was the main participant uh, in this in this event. Was it, you know, a sports team you like? Was it uh, artists you like? Once again, I'm going to do Van Halen. Uh, so I'll type in Van Make sure this is set to black. 
And I'm going to change this font. Let's see here. Do we have caps lock on? I have caps lock on. Let's change it to my accident grotesque, birth level of accident grotesque. And Having it all lowercase is, once again, kind of a tried and true technique when it comes to your um, Swiss style designs here. And now uh, we'll just go to. There, window paragraph. And, uh, under character, I'll just shrink this down some. Seventy-two. That's good. Okay, Seventy-two is good, and um, everything else is fine. And once again, I'll just hold down the shift key while I rotate this once. Oops, hello. Once, twice, three times. Okay, Four hundred degrees. It should line up just right with that, uh, with the shape here. Maybe slightly smaller. If you want to start, if you want to do all your text while everything's right side up, that's fine too. Um, what I'll do here is I'll just um, make a new text box, and uh, I'll make another uh, little thing here, and I'll call, I'll call this the five one five zero tour, which was the first tour they did with Sammy Hagar as their uh, lead singer after the somewhat um, unfortunate departure of David Lee Roth. Now let's put this right about here. A little bit smaller in the text. And uh, let me just move everything down some. Just select everything and move everything down some. There we go. And uh, what we'll do now is we'll add in the details of it, right? So uh, this took place. Uh, I'm going to do the, the one specific date that had several tour dates in the year 1986. I'll do the tour date of, um, uh, of uh, when it happened, which was uh, it was on. April 23rd, 1983. Nope, it was uh, April 14th. April, so I'm sure we have this. April 14th, 1986. And it was at the Omni Coliseum, Omni Coliseum, Atlanta, Georgia. And I'll put the 100 tech. Shrink this down, and once again, we want it to be aligned left and ragged right. That's the important uh, kind of thing for your. I'll just maybe I'll put a little line break here between this, um, and we'll just alternate that like that, and kind of line that up right about here. So we're gonna have this little line up right there. All right, so there we go. So that's uh, one way of doing this. Um, another way of doing this would be if I were just to take out these shapes here. Um, another thing that you can kind of see, I'll just put this off to the side for now, um, is um, uh, we'll, we'll jump in over here to Photopea. And same kind of deal as before. As you can kind of see what I got going on over here. Let me just go ahead and get rid of these. I'll show you how I made these. Um, well, we take our pen tool, uh, make sure it's set to shape, and again, you can do this in Photoshop the same way. Just make sure you get your pen tool, make sure it's set to shape. Uh, click once. Hold down shift, click down towards the corner, click again towards the corner. It makes a 45 degree angle here. And um, when, it, when it combines, push this up at the top. Once again, grab your blending options. Make sure it's set to have the green off. And then just duplicate this. Right click, duplicate layer. And uh, we'll just hold down the shift key while we turn this. And turn it 90 degrees. Down, change its color under the properties tab. So if you click on properties, color fill will pop up. And you can change this, say, for instance, to some other, um, shall we say, uh, complementary color. Change the blending options here. Take off green, uncheck blue, uncheck red. How about that? There you go. It's okay. And now we've got this little, uh, you know, dominant graphic here. I can pull this down some. And uh, once again, we'll just uh, get our text. Click once. Uh, I'm going to use a new font. I'll see if I can't. Can I download a font? I don't think I can. Let's just um, uncheck all and let's just pull up sans serif fonts. 
And I think I like this one down here, which was Familiar Pro. Okay, I'll use Chambers with one here. And I'll just type my, my text here and Kaylin. I'll make this a bit bigger. Forty-five degrees. It'll snap right to it. Bring that over here, and we could, um, for instance, uh, place this um, maybe here, and we could put all the details on the other side. We could even like align it to the left and have a align it to the right and have a ragged ragged left here. So I'll just um, get out of the text box here, and I can even just while well, I'm here, just grab all this and just paste it in. Okay, and just shrink this down some. This is my character. There we go. That's good. And we can just sort of pull it this way. So, um, if you want to do your uh, text, like say for instance on this side, that's fine. If you wanted to say for instance, grab it and align it to the other side and place it on the inside of your shape, you can do that as well. Uh, like I said before, whatever whatever it is you do, um, just make sure that you've got. Um, let me just. Uh, I'll grab the five hundred one. Five tour. I'll just do another one of these. Let's pull this up. Five one five oh to five one five oh tour. Let me open this a little bit higher. Try to line this up as best I can. Um, so there you go, right? And so once again, just uh, export this. Or just choose which one you want. Do you want to do like a, a, a the square shape, the triangle shape? Do you want to do a different shape? It's up to you. Let me just um, back this up a little bit. So we got two examples of this, two versions of this. So um, the text inside the shape, text outside the shape, uh, this sort of separation helps direct the eye, obviously, right, the Van Halen inside the shape brings our eye to that, uh, to, to that right there, the, the, the larger size of it all, you know, helps us understand what's the most important thing here. Uh, I could, you know, probably size this up, uh, standard size this up a little bit. There you go. Cool. Uh, all right. So uh, this is our little example. Once again, we have a dominant, simple graphic shape. Not a whole lot in terms of uh, of technique. It's just more like what placement and, and directing the eye, and, and a, a little more uh, on the on the theory of of, of how design is uh, used to just convey your ideas. All right. There you go. Cool. Can't wait to see you guys produce. See you guys in class. Come up with your own event.